everybody, and welcome back to another video. I apologize for not posting for the past couple of weeks. I'm going to try to get back on that, but I've been really busy, so it's been kind of hard to post. But Oshkosh Part 2 will be coming out within like next month or two. But anyways, into the actual point in the video. Royal Fanning is boring. Get now before... <laughs> can't take this line seriously. Now, before you little foam tards come at me in the comments, let me explain. So my local line is the Canadian National Chicago Subdivision, which I don't know how true this is, but a few years ago it was said to have around 24 to 26 trains a day, which on paper should be around one an hour. But there has been numerous times where I have waited two, to three, maybe even four hours for a train just for only one to show up or even nothing. And usually, after that long of a wait, the only thing that shows up is one of these useless pieces of shit, ugly as European pieces of absolute dog shit, Siemens SC44 chargers. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? My bad for that crash, though. I've been crashing out a bit when I'm uh, a little faded. I like the thing about it, this whole video is just one big crash out. And when it's not one of these little retarded moving toasters, it's always just a regular Jeevo, or if you're lucky, an SS7AM-2. And almost never does it have anything special about it. Like, normally, I'm not a heritage unit foamer, but when that's the only good thing you get on your line, then you, you, you just kind of start looking for that stuff. But when there's nothing coming, you just don't even bother going out anymore. I will say, though, having a car does help a little bit. Because then I can actually go other places to go see more trains. But it's still annoying when I have to drive these other places just to see more Jeevos. Like Galesburg, for example. That's a nearly three-hour drive for where I'm at. And we decided to take the truck out there. And guess what? All we saw was Jeevos. Grant, there was a war bonnet. Like, two war bonds and maybe an S70A, so we're for lucky. But 99% of the locomotives there, Jeevos on Jeevos on Jeevos, just with different paint. Which, this is what makes rail fanning so boring. It's like, you wait all this time and drive all these, like, long distances just to see the same thing every time you go out. It, like, makes it, like, to the point where you don't even want to go out and see trains anymore. Like, I get the railroads aren't here for our enjoyment. They have their businesses, and they're out here trying to make a profit and whatever. But I, I just felt like making this video because I wanted to crash out and just, like, complain about how boring the railroads are. I don't know. That, that's it for this video. Good night. Uh, I don't know. Thank, <laughs> thank you for watching this crash out. Uh, this outro is way longer than I wanted it to be. I also just want to add that I know this video is going to make me seem like a super big foamer, which I, I guess I am if I'm making this video, but I don't know. My favorite number is 7. 7 Eleven, bitch! God damn, let me go up in this bitch. See what the fuck going on. What in the fuck is this motherfucking bag? Oh my god! Motherfucking Newports, nigga! Newports! I'ma be the richest nigga in the hood. Give me this goddamn motherfucking bag. I'm hauling ass, bitch! I'm hauling ass, nigga!